So in my drum horde, I got a big stinky stash of snare drums, and there's two of them that jump out to people. Well, the one that jumps out to all my drum mates is my Brady. You know, it's just like this hand-built Australian thing, you know, where like Chris Brady would go out and hunt pieces of wood to turn into drums. They're like these one-of-a-kind instruments, they don't come up very much. Well, Champion of Coldplay had one, Larry Mullen of U2 had one, and Chili Peppers give it away, apparently Chad Smith was playing a Brady snare. Look how thick the shell is, it's a giant slab of Australian jarra, it weighs a ton, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Everything is so ridiculously high-end. But the drum that everyone else notices, that means the majority of people flock towards this thing which is a poo rolled in sprinkles. Isn't it beautiful though, those gold hoops, the paisley, the stamp, ah, oh, everyone looks at that and goes, mate, that's the coolest thing ever. But hardcore drummers look at that badge and go, mate. Before I say any more, let's have a listen to them. And so these haven't been matched in tuning, they got different heads on them because I don't try to do that with snare drums, you're just trying to make a vibe. I mean it's a different sound, but it's a different good sound isn't it? Well this drum is basically a student drum from like the year 2000, and the first time that I tried to make a drum channel, this was like the first video I did, and it's a drum that was literally given to me. It's actually the snare drum from the tom that I destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> this was a thrashed old thing, I stripped it down, and I genuinely wrapped it in an old t-shirt. With a glue stick. <laughs> you trim the rough edges mate, you put it back together, does it look beautiful? So I've had this drum for a really long time, it's held up great, and I upgraded to some brass looking die cast hoops that just completed it with the gold badge, I love the silver lugs. And that's what I mean, this is the poo rolled in sprinkles mate. This is a Pearl Export snare from over 20 years ago, dressed up to look really nice, but as I've proved with the Jimbao drums mate, if it's round and flat, it's got every chance of sounding good. Put some nice big fat wires on it. It's why drums are awesome, you can take any old thing and make it sound great. So if you don't like the sound of your drums, mate, I don't think you need new drums, you just need new drum heads. 